Well, I, I will tell you this. When you talk about Pittsburgh, you got to be thinking of Steelers. And you got to be thinking of Pirates. And joining me right now is a couple of guys who, uh, who've who been on the show before. Um, we've talked baseball. We've talked fantasy baseball. And we got um, Bob and Jonathan uh, Bentz. And, and guys, how are you doing today? Yeah, we're doing great, Pete. It's great to have us on again. I mean, Thanks. yeah, we're happy to have you on. We got tied up in uh, Ben Roethlisberger and and the discussion on him. But I guess in a roundabout way, I want to move. I want to move out of this uh, uh, negativity because it is negative. I mean, we got a kid who's going in a draft. He's got a positive mind, and we we got this 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 guy who who's just tearing down the the NFL. But let's talk fantasy baseball. What's hot? What's not in fantasy baseball? Well, if you want to talk about something positive, let's talk about Derek Jeter. And uh, his girlfriend list. Have you ever seen that, Pete? <laughs> <laughs> well, I just dropped. He just, he just dropped his pen because you know he's a Mets fan, and he's like, "What do I want to talk about the Yankees for?" Yeah, I mean, I mean, Piscopo just rubbed my nose and my, my poor Mets all over the place. But but go ahead, tell me about Derek Jeter and his girlfriend's list. I like idea. I got yeah, here. Yeah, we got a girlfriend. You know, uh, Jonathan and I uh, publish fantasybaseballdugout.com, and. Uh, we have a list of Jeter's girlfriends up there that will absolutely knock your socks off. Okay. I mean, this guy has dated six of Maxim's top 100 lists. He's done the double Jessica, BLN Alba, and uh, he may My have hero. never won the most valuable player in the MLB, but he is our most valuable player. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like how you said He's that, also, too. But, you know, that said, he is, uh, later this year, he is expected to take himself off of the, uh, out of the running for the player list by actually, uh, tying the knot. So, um, you know, I guess you could, I guess you could question his sanity at that point. But, do you, uh, do you, do you think, his list is quite impressive. Do you think, do you think Derek Jeter's doing it right versus Tiger Woods? I mean, having a list of, of young, a bevy of, uh, beauties, and then getting married, or getting married, and then having a, a, a young list of bevy of beauties. Which is better, do you think? Well, since Jonathan and I are both married, we're going to have to go with Jeter on that one. Yeah, exactly. Right way. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. And if you know, I mean, if you notice, I mean, it is, it is. While while Jeter is still a, a productive player, uh, and you know, still the captain and all that, all that kind of stuff, he uh, he still definitely is is near the end of his career. Uh, as opposed to being in the prime of his career where Tiger Woods decided to get married. So I guess if you're looking for a marriage strategy for a high-profile professional athlete, maybe they should wait till the end of their career as opposed to doing it in the middle. Okay, talking with uh, Jonathan and Bob Benz here on Spitter on Sports. Fantasy Baseball Dugout. Dot com is their website. They're, they're, they're gamers, and uh, you guys don't just deal with uh, fantasy baseball either. You deal with uh, fantasy football and everything else, right? Yeah, we have some other stuff, but our first love is baseball. That's why we're wondering why you're talking about Roethlisberger right now. I mean, this is baseball time. It's April. You know, it's spring. The sun's out. The girls are wearing, you know, less clothing. And we want you to come out to Fantasy Baseball Dugout and see what we're all about because we're going to give you tips on how to win your league this year. I don't know. I'm getting an echoing in your uh, in your uh, background right there, and I don't know if it's our, our setup here, Shank, or, or not, but... Uh, which, uh, tell me about um, last year you guys came on with the hottest wives in, in Major League Baseball, and this was not the first year you guys did it. It's worth going to their website just to see that. Who was the hottest wife last year? Wasn't it uh, De La Rosa? Yeah, it was, uh, it was Heidi DeRosa. It was Mark DeRosa's wife. Yeah. Um, she, won, she won the year before, too. This um, year, really? Back-to-back? Nice. Yeah, back-to-back champ, yep. <laughs> Yeah, she's uh, something special. She's the you know wife of the utility player Mark DeRosa, and uh, she has quite a following on our site. Yeah, and she gets. Uh, she had last year it was a landslide. I think the year before uh, it was it was a close victory. But I think a lot of our readers uh, may have discovered her um, two years ago, and then last year she won with like seventy percent of the vote or something. Well, that's got to be a great discovery. Yeah, I mean, that's, no, that's great. <laughs> I mean, you know, you guys got it made. You guys can uh, flip through all that stuff. and uh, It's got to be hard. I mean, it's yeah. got to be a, a, That's, a, a, that's a real tough job. I yeah. wish I had one like that. Well, you could have a tough job like that if you know these two guys like I do. And uh, But both of them, this, this is an uncle and a, and a nephew, and uh, they, they got a great website. Listen, the second I mentioned fantasybaseballdugout.com, dot com, um, dot com uh, Puzz, 
gets onto the nearest computer, and he's right there, and he's got everything rated up there. He's got the uh, fantasy baseball catching rankings, and uh, you got Joe Mauer up there. Good, that's a good pick. I'll go for that. Uh, who do you got? Who, who's some of the other ones you got up? I don't see any Mets. Well, you know, we got a couple hot guys. There's no here. Mets there. Yeah. <laughs> go ahead. Yeah, we, we we predicted a couple of guys in preseason, and so far, you know, we are looking like soothsayers here as the season goes on. Uh, the first guy is Placido Polanco of the Phillies. Now, he's 34 years old, so like Dieter, he's probably nearing the end of his career. Uh, last year, his average dropped off to 285, but he's a career 303 hitter. He had only 10 home runs and 72 RBIs last year uh, for the Tigers, but he's hit two already this year for the Phillies, and he's hitting in that number two slot for the Phillies. And when you have that kind of a lineup behind you, you're going to see some fastballs if you're Placido Polanco. And he is a pure fastball hitter. He's hit two out already this year. He's 20 for 45 with a 444 average. And of his 20 hits, now now write this down, 14 of his 20 hits have come off a of fastball. So, you know, if you've got to face Chase Utley behind him, Ryan Howard, Jason Wirth, and Raul Ibanez, you're going to see some fastballs. And in the major leagues, when you show some fastballs over and over, those are going to be base hits. That's definitely, that's definitely one huge tip that we recommend for people is to uh, keep track of the lineups that players hit in. And, you know, you can find some, you can find some gems on your, on your free agent wire if the players are, are hitting in a good spot in a, in a stacked lineup, like the Phillies lineup, the Yankees lineup, situations like that, guys you may not know, you, you may not know of, or your uh, competitors in your league may not know of. Uh, these guys get in a good spot and uh, are going to get pitches to hit, and all of a sudden you see that they're producing. You need to have them on your roster. Yeah, talking with the uh, Ben's family here on Spadora on Sports Fantasy Baseball Dugout dot com. Uh, not to change the subject, but Minka Kelly is that a correct pronunciation of her name? Minka, I'm sorry, say again. Yeah, Minka Kelly is that they're Jeter's dating right now? Oh, yeah. Minka Kelly. Yeah, yeah. M- Minka. Yeah, Minka Kelly uh, played the cheerleader uh, on the Friday Night Lights show. Yeah. And uh, she's a 29-year-old actress, but uh, she plays a 17-year-old on Friday Night Lights. So that should say something about her uh, quality. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. Definitely. And I see three pitchers, and they're very, very, uh, have high yeah. quality right here. I, I want to th- talk a little bit about baseball here, and all I'm looking at is and pictures and everything else like that. Listen, guys, uh, we'd like to get you guys back, talk a little bit more, and uh, uh, cover fantasy baseball with you. Um, if you want to know more about Bob and Jonathan Bentz, you can go to their website, fantasybaseballdugout.com. You can check out the wives column. You can check out the pictures that Puzz is looking at and Shank is looking at. And um, I'll, I'll, I'll get you guys back, and we'll talk some serious baseball. Well, he's not looking. Yeah, I'm not looking. Yeah, we'd love to have We'd love to be back, and one more guy to keep your eye on, Curtis Granderson of the Yankees. I know you're a Mets fan, but this guy's a dead pool hitter. He's made for Yankee Stadium yeah. in that short porch, 308 feet in right field. You see that? That's perfect. That's perfect. Bob, Jonathan, all the best, you guys. Have a great weekend. Hi. Yeah, same to you. You bet. Thanks, Pete. You bet. You're listening to Spinner on Sports. Stay tuned. We'll be right back at you. Don't try it. Try, try, try it. Hey, don't even think about changing the stations. But on sports, we'll return. I think this frequency, this frequency should be put on priority monitoring.